Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to One Night with Lanolin. Tonight we are playing American Truck Simulator. Hell yeah! I've been playing this game a little bit off camera, kind of enjoying it a bit. I had a lot of fun with Euro Truck Simulator um, a few months ago, and when this game came out on my birthday of all days, February the 2nd, I, uh, I just had to pick it up, and I've had a little bit of fun. Um, so I figured it was about time to do a video. Um, American Truck Simulator is developed and published by SCS Software. Again, they also did Euro Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator 2, all that fun stuff. Experience legendary American trucks and deliver various cargoes across sunny California and sandy Nevada. American Truck Simulator takes you on a journey through the breathtaking landscapes, widely recognized landmarks around the states. It's also only $19.99 on Steam, so if you like to drive and you have a controller, or if you even have a wheel and pedals and all that fun stuff, those work too. Uh, I haven't tried it on the mouse and keyboard. I would imagine it would be pretty horrible on mouse and keyboard. Uh, but uh, maybe there's somebody out there who's really good at it. Give it a shot. I don't know. So anyway, this episode, I figured we would have a little bit of fun taking care of a couple jobs. So let me grab my controller really quick. Um, now, I've spent a little bit of time mapping out a really nice uh, keyboard. Or, I'm sorry, a... Uh, Xbox 360 controller setup, I think is the type of controller I use. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and it works really well. I like it. it. Makes it really easy to drive. It's not like horrible <laughs> to control everything, and it's it's relatively simple. Um, I also re I really like to use price per distance when I'm selecting a job to do because I feel like I get the most bang for my buck or the most bang for my time, if you will. Um, I don't know if I want to do this one though. That one's kind of long. <laughs> that one's pretty long. This might end up being a super long. You know what? You know what? Let's go for it. We're going to do a 329 mile, nine hour trip. We're going to be delivering some propane. Just propane, no propane accessories. We'll make about $6,600. It's not bad. Currently, I'm driving everybody else's trucks. Once I have, once I'm a little bit more comfortable with how much money I have, um, I can start up my own trucking business, which allows me to purchase my own truck. So I make a little bit more money. Well, actually, not a little bit more money. You actually make a, a lot more money, but trucks are expensive. I only have about $45,000, as you can see over there in the bottom right. So anyway, before we get started, um, I should mention that uh, you can definitely take damage, get in car accidents, get speeding tickets, and all the above. And I drive a manual transmission, so that means 16 gears. I only use two camera angles because I found that you really only need two camera angles. Inside the cab and then the chasing cab. Chasing chasing view allows you to uh, kind of see where you're going, obviously. Around those really, really tight, tight corridors. Ugh. Oops. Sometimes I get my, uh, my camera button switched up and I will shift back to neutral, which is never a good thing. So like I said, with my uh, with my controls, I can control all of the major functions of the truck. Um, there are some minor things that I still need to use the keyboard for because I just don't have enough buttons. Uh, but it works. works wonderfully. And actually, I should turn my lights on. There we go. So I'm trying to be mindful of the speed limit while we're driving around in cities. The likelihood of getting a ticket is much higher. So anyway, I should actually mention something about that. If you're familiar with Euro Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2, um, one of the things that actually kind of irritated me about it was A, the 55 mile an hour maximum speed limit, which is gone in this uh, in an American Truck Simulator, which is fantastic. I love it. And uh, something else that was removed is that you can actually do like five over, which really bothered me about Euro Truck Simulator because I I'm not sure if it's the same way in other countries, in like European countries. Uh, for example, if you can't, like, you can't just do that five over the normal speed limit, like, everyone's cool. Uh, that might just be an American thing, but you can definitely do that in American Truck Sim. Ugh! I'm not, I'm not super great at this, I should, I should point out. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a few, a few little gripes that I had about Euro Truck Simulator that are actually fixed. You can go as fast as you want, and, uh, cops are a little bit less pissy about your speed, about going over a little bit. See, it's just relaxing, man. You can just kick back, throw on like a stream, 
Like, for example, my live stream, Twitch TV slash Lanolin LOL. You could have that going. If I happen to be live streaming, you could play some uh, American Truck Sim. Just chill out. Go 60 miles an hour in a 30 mile an hour zone. Oh, there's the speeding offense. I did not see the cop. <laughs> yeah, whoops. You can go. I mean, I, I just like that you don't automatically get a speeding ticket whenever you go over the speed limit, which can be really annoying. You have to be a little bit looking around, you know, looking for those cops. Now, granted, I, I, I can say that I know uh, speed cameras are much, much more common in European countries than in the States. So that's a definitely a major difference right there between the two games. So, yeah, you know, a little bit of realism. What's up, buddy? I can see why this... Why this mission was slated to take so long. See, look at that. Going a little bit over 30. Cop just rolled on right past us. Not even mad. Oh, I ran the red light. <laughs> and got hit with the 420. Damn. Now, normally I could slow down in time, but I, I'll be honest. I wasn't really paying attention. I will also admit that normally when I get hit with the red light offenses, I usually just keep going through the light. I'm like, ah, oh, well, screw it. I already got the ticket. But so much traffic. You lose a lot of, a lot of points, a lot of XP, a lot of money for taking damage. So more than anything else, that's what you wanted to want to avoid. Speeding tickets, that just comes out of your pocket, man. Nobody cares about that. Like, if you feel it's worth to just pedal to the metal and get a couple speeding tickets to make sure that you can get your delivery on time... You know, it's not going to hurt your uh, bottom line. Well, I mean, it will, but it's not going to. You're not going to piss off the company you're working for, basically. And that's just fine with me. Pardon me. Excuse me. All right. We're getting our way to the highway. Oh, we're going to crash. <laughs> you know, in Euro Truck Simulator, I would have made that turn. <laughs> Yeah, I also should point out that uh, another difference between the two games, the Euro Truck Simulator and uh, American Truck Simulator, the trucks behave more like trucks. I found it was really easy to kind of cruise around in the European trucks, go around tight turns and all that stuff going pretty fast without too much difficulty. But uh, in American Truck Simulator, oh my goodness, I have to be really careful. But I also might just be completely bad. I mean, I'm experienced with driving heavy machinery. Just not a semi-truck. But I have driven buses. It was pretty fun. Alright, so we're on the highway. We can speed on up. Come on. If you're unfamiliar with the Euro Truck Simulator series and the American Truck Simulator series, um, I should explain that all of the things that you would expect to encounter while trucking along the streets of the United States, or the highways of the United States, uh, you should expect, such as needing to sleep, needing to get, stop and get gas, uh, needing to weigh yourself. That's a new thing, actually, a difference between Euro Truck Simulator and uh, American Truck Simulator, you actually have way stations you got to deal with. Occasionally while you're driving around, you'll get the flag like, hey, you need to pull into this way station. And sure enough, you'll have to slow down, go through, stop real quick, let them weigh you out. And you can be on your way. And uh, I I've never skipped the way station, so I'm not sure what happens if you skip one. If you get, like, arrested or get, like, a huge fine or something, I'm not 100%. But uh, I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Maybe, uh, maybe maybe if we see one on this route, since it's kind of long, we might have to stop at a way station. What? What even ding me? Uh, I think cops can bust you going uh, the opposite direction. Oh well. So we've got two speeding tickets and a red light, red light fine, uh, on this delivery. <laughs> Well, hopefully we can get there on time so we can at least make a little bit of profit. We've already wasted almost $2,000 in tickets and fines. I guess we can slow down. I guess. 
I mean, there's a little bit of a reward for getting there early, I think. I think. I'm not actually 100% on that. But they seem to be pretty happy. Haha. <laughs> Alright, we need to go around this fool. What was, what's that guy hauling? Some gasoline? Man. His looks cooler than mine. It's so loud. <laughs> it's so loud out there. Oh my goodness, we're going almost 80 miles an hour. Oh, no, there it is. There's there's the speeding ticket. Damn it, man. You you really don't want to get that many speeding tickets. Like, oh, we have to stop for a way station. Possibly. No? Oh, well, that guy does. See? Way stations. Sleeper cabin in the back. Hell yeah. Another note, if you're unfamiliar with this series, uh, you can fully customize your trucks. It's actually one of the achievements to fully customize uh, all of the trucks in the game. And there's actually quite a large variety of trucks, so if you're a, an achievement whore like myself... Yeah, you'll have plenty of stuff to do. Though, admittedly, I don't know if I'll sit down and get all the achievements in this game. Though, I, I do occasionally enjoy doing such things. Oh, you know what we should do? We should pop in here and get some gas. Slow it down. Downshift a bit. Let's go in for a little bit of a wide turn. And stop. Nice. Shut the engine off. Get some gas. So we don't pay for this fuel because we're, we're using somebody else's truck delivering somebody else's cargo. So this is on the house. Sweet. Let's get on out of here. We don't need to sleep, though we could pull off and sleep there. Wait, what? Ah, shit. I balls it up. All right, there we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, yeah, made it. <laughs> nice. So I, I really like driving in the cabin. Like I like the first person view. Third person view works and you can probably avoid a lot of accidents and stuff and cops, but it's so loud and I, I really like that it's loud. This guy taking his damn time. I like that it's loud because it encourages you to pop into the cabin and experience your cabin. It's quite nice. One of these days when I have my own truck, I'm gonna... I'll change the way the GPS looks so that I can just use the uh, in-cabin in GPS so I have a little bit more room on the screen. But because I'm always in all sorts of different trucks, right now. The GPS location tends to change inside the cabin, so yeah. Oh, I, saw, I should also note, probably the most obvious change between Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator is that we're driving on the right side of the road. And by the right side, I mean the correct side of the road. <laughs> and we're in the left-hand side of the truck. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! Nothing to see here, officer. Going the speed limit. Tip my fedora. Oh god, there's a cop beside me anyway. I, I just look like a huge asshole. <laughs> I don't know. They might not. They might need to be kind of close to you before they can actually hit you with the speeding ticket. Yeah, that's fine with me, man. It gave me time to slow down. All right, so let's play it safe. Let's kick on the cruise control. There we go. So yes, cruise control is a thing. It's wonderful that it's a thing, or this would... Not as many people would probably play this game. Because <laughs> it does get a little bit... You know, on these really long routes, it gets a little bit tiresome to constantly hold down the trigger or the... I don't know, left click, whatever it is to go with the mouse button. And of course, the pedal, if you're using the uh, wheel and pedals. I would love. I wish I had a wheel and pedals. That'd be so fun. Have a little shifter on my desk. Tear an ass all over my room. <laughs> so much fun. Let's 
San Francisco. I didn't see how long that... Oh, man. Did it say one mile? I didn't see. I hope we don't have to drive around through Fran San Francisco. That would be horrible. We're about 65 miles out, though, so I don't think so. Half a mile. Okay, so Fresno and San Francisco, about half a mile. What? What? How did I get popped with a speeding offense? Maybe they get a little pissy if you get 60, 61. But I've never gotten a speeding ticket going 59 in a 55. I know that for sure. 60, I'm not sure. I've never been playing or paying that close attention to my speedometer when I got the ticket. So I may have popped up to 61 on like a downhill. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, we've almost lost all the money that we would have made from this job in speeding tickets. <laughs> It's fun though, man. I love it. I mean, you have your you, you have your option of being a tryhard, making sure you never get a ticket, or you can be Speedy Gonzalez and be the best, most fastest delivery guy in the West, but also the most wanted by the police in the West. All right, so coming on the off ramp, here we go. Probably want to not go 60 through the off ramp. Come on, turn singles, turn off. All right, so again, I was able to I was able to engage the cruise control, downshift, switch to neutral, all that stuff using just the controller. No, I've yet to use the keyboard for anything. I think the only thing I actually use the keyboard for is turning off the engine, pumping, obviously, pumping gas, and uh, the wipers, windshield wipers. That's it, and the horn. But I don't have an air horn, so it doesn't work anyway. <laughs> and people don't care about your horn. They're just like, yeah, whatever, dude. Nice horn, bruh. I, because I, although, because I haven't had a horn, I haven't had the opportunity to test and see if, uh, if other truck or, truckers will honk back at you. If you honk at them. Because in Euro Truck Simulator, they wouldn't. And that made me sad. If I was a trucker, I would honk at people. Dude, I suck so much at on and off ramps. However, I still run stop signs. Definitely run stop signs. Unless there's a cop around, then don't don't run a stop sign. <laughs> don't do that. But if there's no cops around, man. I mean, no. I mean, I'm not condoning running stop signs. But you can definitely run stop signs. So we're coming in, we're coming up on the, it uh, looks like a bunch of docks, man. That's pretty cool. Everything is pretty accurate, actually. All the locations and scenery and everything are accurate, just uh, more condensed. So this is actually what this uh, place looks like, for the most part. Again, it's pretty accurate. Just a little bit condensed, so you're not actually driving for nine real-ass hours. Dude, where's my e-brake, man? I think I'm just going too fast. Oh, whoa. Okay, I guess we're just delivering some, uh... Some fuel to a gas station. Well, that's slightly less exciting than I thought it was going to be. So let's slow down a little bit. Pull this guy in. Alright, so... This is also new. In American Truck Simulator versus our European Truck Simulator in the second one. Um, before, you would just pull in and you would try to do the parking job, and if you couldn't do it, you would just skip it. Now you actually have options. You pull in, and you negotiate how you want to do things. Now, if you're a cool boy, you can do this one. The hard one. It's a super hard. It almost always involves backing up. Actually, it always involves backing up because it's the most difficult aspect. What I usually do, I usually do the play it safe. I just do the easy one, you know, get the bonus, a little bit of bonus XP. Uh, I, I have actually done a couple of these where I have to back in and everything, and uh, I'll try it. I'll try it for a little while. I've done it before, but I, I really doubt I'm going to be able to do it now, mostly because I kind of turned into this pretty poorly. But I have to back this beat... Oh, off to a great start. I have to back this beast in over there. And, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about all this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, actually, let's turn our lights off. 
<laughs> so if you don't want to watch this, if you don't want to watch me struggle to back this truck in, go get American Truck Simulator on on Steam. It's 19.99. It's not even a month old yet. It's a fun game, fantastic simulator game, and it's it's just cool to just cruise around and take a look at a uh, California and Nevada. But for everybody else who's sticking around, whoa, dude, do you not see that I'm whoa? I see that I'm trying to work. But for everybody else, hell yeah, Euro Truck Simulator, or American Truck Simulator, tons of fun. Let's try to back this puppy up. All right, so I'm gonna straighten out. No! Get out the get out of the way, dude. Thank you. Okay, well this truck's gonna be a douche. Right, let's pull off the side of the road. Let's let this guy pass us. All right, let's do it. Oh, we might actually nail this. Oh, a little sharp, a little sharp. I right, know, we start cutting it. Start cutting it. Cut it. All right, we kind of messed it up there at the end. We got a little, I panicked a little bit, I'll admit. I thought it was coming in a little bit sharp. That's okay, we can straighten out. Oop. There we go. <laughs> we killed the sign. We, we took out the sign. Let's go in for just a moment. So we don't have to hear the damn truck sounds. Right, we should have it after this. No, how straight does it have to be? That's good enough, isn't it? Slowly but surely, baby. This is worth the 50. Like, we have a lot of extra time since we got here so quickly, so it's worth it, you know? up. Whoa. Did you see I'm freaking... Come on, you dicks. You've all been in this plight before. Why you, why you gotta do that to me, man? So as you can see, it needs to be pretty precise. You know, before I recorded this video, I debated on whether or not I wanted to do this. And uh, I actually decided that I wasn't going to do this. I wasn't going to try and do the perfect park. But, you know what? Screw it. Screw it, I said. Easy. Easy. That is spot on, baby. Nice. Good work. So we did get an excellent. We did take a little bit of time. We took some damage. But not too bad. Tons of fun. So the, the 40 XP that we got for parking the trailer actually made up for the fact that we took a bunch of damage parking the trailer. Nice! <laughs> and we're working our way towards level 6. And actually, every time you level up, um, I was hoping I would have leveled up off of this, but unfortunately not. But every time you level up, you can put like bonus perks and stuff into being able to drive longer distances. Here we go. I think we can look in skills. Yeah. Every time you level up, you can put points and stuff like this. Fuel economy, just-in-time delivery. So, you know, those deliveries that you have to get like right at the last minute. Fragile stuff, high value stuff, super long distance stuff, and of course, hazardous ca cargo. I found hazardous cargo to be a good one to max out first. That way, all your o options are pretty much open. 
for different things you can do. Plus this late stuff, like the toxic, toxic stuff and the corrosive substances, a lot of money for that, even if you're not going very far. So anyway, that is going to wrap it up for me. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play and then struggle to park my truck in American Truck Simulator. Uh, lots of fun. Again, $19.99 on Steam. Go check it out. If you don't have anything else to do or you, you know, find that, that controller or that pedal and keyboard and steering wheel up in the attic and you want to bust it out, this is a great game to try it on. So thanks for watching, guys. I have been Landlin, and I will see you next time. Bye.